Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is a special one because I partnered with Juvia's Place to show you their new culture collection. Um, so it consists of a palette and some duochrome liquid shadows. And I've been using this for a few weeks now, so you will see some more looks using the palette and liquid shadows in the future. And if you want to see how I go from this to this, uh, amazing kind of a bit monochromatic greenish makeup look with some golden -y, greenish accents in a way very cool i think for like festivals because we're entering into the festival and like concert season in the uk and the us so now I'll just move on and show you the swatches and the colors of clothes the palette of clothes uh, liquid shadows which I actually adore uh, I think they have enough not just shimmery particles to really get that intense reflection but also they have enough color in them okay so now let's move on to the swatches and I will show you up close all the products um, really really loving all the formulas for Julius Place I've been using their products for a long time now so I'm familiar with the shadows I think they're amazing quality in this palette you will find a nice variety of matte shades as well as more like creamy, um, shimmery shadows, duochrome eyeshadows, and a glittery one, um, the pink one called Calabash. And you have a nice variety of neutral shades and um, more colorful, uh, really intense kind of shades, which I think with this palette, you can do everything, really. You can do a smoky eye, a neutral eye, and every day I make up something colorful and fun, something for festivals or, I don't know, some concerts. Always, I do appreciate the kind of packaging. I think it's easy to carry with you if you're traveling. It's also quite thin, it's not super thick, so it's easy to store, um, at least in my makeup drawer. And now for the duochrome liquid eyeshadows. I have three shades for the duochrome um, liquid shadows. Um, Fula, which is more like a wash of shimmery, duochrome, violet, blue, and a bit of green. We have Kente, uh, which is more of a coppery reddish uh, undertone. Again, really opaque and nice. And then Ankara, which is, I think, kind of my favorite. It has this like yellowish green undertone. And this is the one that I used for today's video. For more information, definitely check out the description box. I will leave where you can find the collection. Now let's get started with the makeup tutorial. I hope you will like this. Let me know what you think. And... 